Brazos twice. The most distinctive part is the uh, Grand Place, which is in the um, central square of the city. Grand Place is known for its decorative and aesthetic wealth. The Grand Place is surrounded by the guardhouses, the city hall, and the Maison du Roy. It is considered as one of the most beautiful places of the world. Because of the limitation of time stayed in Belgium, we can only visit the four cities of Belgium out of the total 42 cities. Cities we visit are Brussels, Bruges, Amtrak, and Ghent. The display show for the mannequin, uh, mannequin pigs and the costumes and he's changing the costume, they change costume for him every now and then. And for example, winter they dressing up and uh, summer they just uh, live in a uh, nude. <laughs> it's very interesting. Bruges train station. Bruges is the capital and the largest city of the province of West Flanders in the Flemish region of Belgium. It is in the northwest of Belgium. For Bruges, two days visit is enough. Bruges is one of the most aromatic cities in Europe.
you can walk uh, through the alley and amazed by the ancient old buildings around Bruges. can either hire a barge or um, you can use horse carriages to tour around the city and you'll be amazed to see the most beautiful parts of the city and the calmness and the tranquility of the city atmosphere will definitely uh, give you a, a strong impression of the area. at uh, Waterloo um, yeah I kind of saw the f finally I saw the famous um, Napoleon I think um, famous for the Waterloo I think I have this I learned this when I was in primary school about this uh, Waterloo and finally I'm here and I'm still sort of like can't believe that I'm here not far from um, Brass Brazo, so we are on the way to Luxembourg. So we uh, just stopped by Waterloo to have a look this f at this famous landmark, the Napoleon. I think it's a name, but I'm not really sure. I think it's Napoleon first, second. No, I think it's just Napoleon. Well, it is the statue of him. Finally, I have seen, and I feel really excited. It's so beautiful. And um, amazing weather. I think the weather does help a lot in Europe. It's because a few days ago, before we arrived in uh, Brazil, the, um, the weather in Brisbane is just like the oven, like you are in the oven. So it is a great big change for me to come here to Europe, and I feel so cool and fresh from this cool weather. And I always like you to come back to Europe, all parts of Europe, especially North Europe. I have to visit and stay there for one day to experience the climate. We are inside the museum of um, the uh, the Battle of Waterloo, and um, you pay only thirty uh, about uh, two people for thirty nine euro to come in here. In order for you to reach the top, you need to climb the steps, quite a steep climb up. So I'm decided to climb up the step to the lion. I am quite near to me now, which means I'm approaching to the top of this hill. Yeah, at the top of the hill, overlooking the view surrounding the hill of lion. 
around the Waterloo, where the water, uh, the Battle of Waterloo took place here in a long, long time ago. To my north is where the ancient Napoleon uh, the Great was stood. That his soldiers, he and his soldiers were stood, trying to fight the enemy. There was a spot that they were in. is the largest city in Belgium. Gent is a port city in Norway's Belgium. Um, today, Gent is a university town and cultural hub. The city of Gent is dominated by medieval architecture such as Gravenstein Castle, Gressley, and a row of guard holes beside the Leia River Harbour.
After a hot day, the weather is getting dark and very cold at the moment, so we found a perfect place to end the day, dinner in a warm restaurant near the Lei Riverside. <laughs>